Welcome to Web Patrol Wednesday with my dad, Dr. Joe Tranquilla. Thanks, Everett. Today we're going to take a look at Songs Are Thoughts by Lavinia Kell Parker. I've chosen to begin the Repertoire Wednesday series with this work because I think it beautifully captures the emotional essence of this pre-post-pandemic period when we can begin to see and dare to believe that the end of this hiatus in collective singing may be coming soon. Knut Rasmussen was a Greenlandic explorer and anthropologist at the start of the 20th century. On one of his expeditions in 1923, Rasmussen recorded an Inuit shaman named Orpingalik, who had this to say about the power of music. Songs are thoughts sung out with breath when people are moved by great forces and ordinary speech no longer suffices. Man is moved just like the ice flow sailing here and there out in the current. His thoughts are driven by a flowing force. When he feels joy, when he feels fear, when he feels sorrow, all my being is song, and I sing as I draw breath. Lavinia Kell Parker has set some of these words to an original score that evokes the expansiveness of the Canadian North. But I think it also speaks to this moment in time. We have felt frozen or perhaps set adrift, literally afraid of our own breath. And yet, as we look forward to the day when we will be able to sing together without masks, literally pulling back the curtain, the words we want to use will be, in the words of the poet, allowed to shoot up of themselves and we will have a new song. I've had the privilege of being a part of one of the early performances of this work, when the Canadian Chamber Choir performed it at the National Canadian Choral Conference podium in 2010. Now, I first encountered the piece as a pianist, and so I can speak to some of its challenging pianistic elements. It makes use of the full range of the keyboard, and there are dramatic moments prompted by what's going on at the piano. A trademark of the piece, and really a central motivic component, is the manual plucking of the strings inside the piano. Because of this, it really requires a grand piano and one that you're quite comfortable with, that you've perhaps had a chance to, uh, to work with a fair bit. Um, and you need to have easy enough access to the strings. Sometimes the, the soundboard is set up in such a way that it's a little tricky, so you can't take it for granted that one piano will be exactly like the next. But for the choir, the main challenges probably have to do with pronunciation of the noctitut text and the articulation of the individual lines, which the composer uses to beautiful effect as the various layers and textures combine to create something very special, reminding the listener perhaps of water in its various forms. Frozen ice, running water, and exhaled breath that seems to pause midair before evaporating altogether. What sets this piece apart is the emotional impact that it can have, the universality of the message being conveyed. It's not a short piece of music, so you should just take note that it runs about eight minutes in length. When working on the music, the conductor needs to pay careful attention to the dynamic levels of each vocal part, as well as the balance between the choir and the piano. But if the markings are followed closely, the choir will have a very good chance of rendering a successful performance of the piece. My favorite moment in the piece is at rehearsal G, right after a moment of stillness, when the sopranos and altos have sung, thoughts are driven, and we who are small feel smaller. We move out of compound meter and return to the more carefree sense of 4-4 four, four time at the peak of the phrase on the word song. It's always a really exciting moment in the score. Songs Are Thoughts is a fantastic work and it takes confidence and courage, especially maybe for the pianist who's just hoping that every single one of the plucked notes in the final measures will be audible. This piece is published by Cypress Choral Music and is part of the Canadian Chamber Choir series for accomplished choirs. For details on how to order this music and to check out more great repertoire, be sure to visit 
cypresscoral.com. The CCC series is one of several great collections curated by outstanding Canadian choral conductors. That's all for now. See you next Wednesday for more great Canadian repertoire. Thanks for listening.